Hi, how you doing? Axis and Allies, 1942, second edition. Just got it in the mail. It's early in the morning. You have to excuse the way I look. I'm kind of tired. I just woke up and seeing that this was on my front porch. So, let's open it up. Alright, we've got an instruction booklet, of course. You know what Axis and Allies. Give me a lot of little stuff you need to know about it. 31 pages. Um, I've read nothing about this game. I don't know if they did any major changes or anything. I have no idea. I'm going to figure it out with you. Let's see. There's no new units. Well, the artillery says artillery slash any aircraft. Or no, there's artillery and then there's any aircraft artillery. So that looks like a new unit. Maybe, you know, the A guns can now shoot as artillery as well. Now I can see from the pictures here, there's some new countries. Anyway, there's the punch outs for the countries. And of course, they're still, well, they're a little bit better than 1942. They're not as good as 1940s uh, Europe one, though. Those had the best punch outs. I don't know. They spent a little extra money in that game. Anyway. Oh, okay. The map's in two pieces. I can already tell you it's going to be a lot bigger map. Wow. Okay. Let's make some room. Okay. So that's that's one half of the map. Pretty big. And the other side of the map. I'm smelling smoke. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted. Anyway, uh, so second half is just as big. It takes up my whole table, and this is a pretty big table. This is um, it's a pretty big table, man. Okay, so let's see. All the countries in Africa are the same, besides one. There's that. Let me get the camera here. Um, right here. There's two. See, Italy is divided up from Southern Europe. You do have uh, Northwestern Europe now. It's a new country. I'm just uh, going off of uh, 1942, the other edition. Now, this is some of this looks familiar as the global game. Um, you got the Baltic states, uh, kind of like the 1941 edition. They got West Russia going way across. Very important to own it. Um, now you got Norway and Finland, not just one. So I can already tell, you know, this is going to be a lot different from the other 1942 edition. Most of these Russia countries are pretty much the same. Besides, this is only one IPC, but yet that one's two. China, a lot different. You got four countries. And there's an extra, there's Burma for the Brits. This all this looks like global. Uh, Australia's two countries now. So, for the most part, it's kind of like uh, 
global, but a little bit smaller. Not as quite as big as far as the, the countries and stuff, but this is a big difference from the other 1942 edition. A lot more countries. Uh, a lot of IPCs, unlike 1941, which we just opened up it. Okay, let's see what else is in the box here. Okay, got a little sheet here. It's falling apart already. And you got these little things, a little tack thing, casualty zones, which nobody uses. Or at least, I don't. My little group who plays, we don't use that stuff. You know, you just got to do a couple rounds of attacking and you know what to do. Uh, these countries, they're uh, little start sheets. They're pretty good. Basically, IPCs are about the same. You, know, you got Germany with around 40, Japan around 30, and Russia 24, United Kingdom 30, and America 42. Basically, that's just like 1942, uh, the first edition. You got some warehouses. They didn't print them on the map like 1941. That and let's check out the armies. Okay, only six dice, which I hate that. This should give you about ten. Got some chips. Um, if it's like 1941, the gray will be one, the green are representing three units, and the red, just like always, are representing five. These are a little bit thicker chips. I actually spent some money on these. Those chips are a lot better. And they actually say Axis and Allies on them. That's pretty cool. Anyway, and then you got the armies. One back for everybody. And I want to see these new units. See what they look like. That's them right there. Let me try to find a regular artillery. Yes. Okay, you get the regular artillery like everybody knows. And now you have these. Looks like just like an AA gun. But everybody has their own one, so I imagine you'll be able to uh, still move them like you could in the past, but maybe they can attack ground forces. Maybe that's what they uh, changed. I'm not sure. That looks like the only big difference as far as like, um, there's a lot more countries. Um, the map is huge. It's, uh, it's not as big as global, of course, but it is a lot bigger. It's definitely, it's just as big as, say, one of the 1940 Europe or 1940 Pacific games. That's how big it is. And with this one new unit. So, you see my time there. I kind of end this quick. I was going to try to find out what's up with this new unit. Okay, it can only move during non combat. It can be taken as a casualty. But if a territory only contains it, and there's no other units in it, it's automatically destroyed. The A guns can never attack. So basically, and it's got air defense. So basically all it is is you can take it as casualties now. I mean, it's just like an A gun, it costs five. Anyway, so not that big of a deal for a new unit. But, um, still... You know, these countries, they come with a lot of units. That's good. Not as much as the 1940 editions, but a lot more than 1941. Remember after doing a setup, you didn't have any more subs with some countries, any more planes, any more infantry. It was crazy. They just gave you just enough to get by in 1941. This one, you actually, looks like you have enough units to 
do whatever you want as far as when the buy process comes through. So anyway, that's it. Appreciate y'all checking it out.